like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Always on the line, in the trenches like a nose guard Never been a sucker, man, my knuckle game crazy Leave your eye like a raccoon, punching them out like the baby They say, he a G, and he know for keeping it 100 Dirt on my boots, not my name, he so 100 He got away with it But he ain't get away with it ARP, ARP, you my guy too, man, so all right, let me get this straight. I don't even want no intro. I don't even uh, forget all that. So I was uh, watching this blog by ARP the other day, and he's talking about the media, and he's talking about Remy Ma's event, and he's talking about the outrage that people had when the stream just shut down in the back. Let, 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 let me tell you something, my nigga. See, this is the thing, right? It be cool until it ain't cool, you know what I'm saying? And you my man, I don't never want you to get this twisted. Please, I watch all of your content. I love what you're doing for Red Breed Entertainment. I was just down there. I missed my flight coming back, being in the airport for two hours. I didn't say nothing about it because I was supporting the battle rap culture, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, Air, Red Breed. I love, love what y'all doing over there. And I plan on being at the maxes out and everything else. So this is, this is, this is, this is nothing, right? But what you said in public, you addressed it, so in public is where we talk about it. Don't say think about it, because I'm, I'm at that point, I already thought about it, right? You was like, oh, we could get in contact with this person, and we could call, man, we don't, this is not that, we don't care about all of that. Like, I hear what you're saying, put the cape down. I feel like you're caping for Remy, because when Sue Surf was out here going crazy on y'all, saying he was gonna take y'all money and spit on the floor, calling y'all KFC, who was, Representing for y'all, who was speaking for the league? Who was talking about the bullshit? It was me that was who it was. It was me and other bloggers that are just like me was the ones that was standing up and speaking up for your platform. Huh? I didn't see her talk about you. I did not see it. If it happened, link me to it. She did not help you. If shit go down tomorrow, she's not gonna help you. I'm telling you right now. So put the cape down. You cannot be the superhero for the leagues because it's cool to be uncompromised when it comes to helping other platforms, but you gotta realize we keep the same energy across the board. When you all have fucked up streams, we go crazy on them. When the app is not good, we go crazy on them. Hold on a minute, player. You just said fuck the app yourself. You just said that, right? True or not true? You said that. Say no back and forth. I'm gonna just say what I gotta say and get this out of the way and keep it moving. So, there is the niggas who's compromised, who's gonna always agree, that's gonna fold, that's gonna do what they need to do to be up under the wing, get tickets and all of that, be on stage. God, we got that. The rest don't care. Why do you think I don't do interviews? Why do you think I don't, like, like, bro, I don't care about none of that shit. Like, I don't wanna do no interviews. I don't wanna be these people's friend. I don't wanna rub shoulders with these niggas. I don't want no stage passes. I do what I do, what SP do, and we move on. Like, that's it. I'm not, like, okay, so if I'm watching a fight, a Mayweather fight, Javante Davis fight, uh, an NBA playoff game. If the, if, if, if the Javante Davis fight cut off, do you think I'm gonna call Showtime, not SP? Or you think I'm gonna call Cinemax? Or you think I'm gonna call pay I'm gonna call Pay-Per-View to get my motherfucking money back. <laughs> but I'm not about to call the providers of this fight and ask them, oh, well guys, what happened, man? In the middle of the third round, the, the, the pay-per-view. No, I'm gonna jump online and I'm gonna say what I say. You got Google reviews, you got Yelp, you got all these people that do reviews every day. You know why? Because they're paying for a product or a service. This is not the first, this is the thing is, it's not even the first pay-per-view where this shit happened. Like I could see if it was the first instance where something happened, thought it's like a second or third one. You think people are not gonna say nothing? Bro, really? Yeah. Why? Why not? And then it's the most expensive pay-per-view in battle rap history. You think nobody's gonna say nothing? Man, come on, dog. You could have been recapping. Y'all could have been recapping the battle and all of that. Who recaps more battles than anybody? Who? Me. That's who. You know? I do that. And my recaps are probably the best. I'm not even gonna say they're the best. They're probably the best. 
Huh? Who is the one that, that promotes these, that, that likes to, that, that does a lot of promotion for these cards, helps talk about these battles. You know, I was just at Battle Academy. I was just at Rare Breed Entertainment. I'm going all these places and we are ignorant. How the fuck are we ignorant? You, you're talking about uh, how much we make on a video. It don't matter. I can make a million dollars off a video. It does not matter. I don't owe nobody no compromise situation or I don't owe anybody to not say something when something happens. Something happens, I'm going to talk about I don't care. Like, it is what it is. Y'all know me already. That's the worst part about it is you know me and you know what I'm going to do. Yes, I'll jump on live, I'll joke around and yada, yada, yada. But then the next day when I sat here and broke it down with SP, ball for ball for ball for ball for ball, I said in the beginning of the, of the video, yo, we can't put all this on Remy, you know what I'm saying? She's hired trying to host in a bit. She's live on stage. Rap Grid, you know, they, they, they got two streams going at one. This is all the stuff I said already. But it's crazy how we just take the highlight or we take the clip or we take the names and we put them all in here like, yo, y'all should do better, y'all should do better. I ain't trying to be part of no goddamn coalition. I'm going to say whatever I want when this camera comes on. Period. Ain't nothing else to it. Like, that, I'm sorry. If that doesn't make me cool or if that doesn't make me one of the preferred channels or whatever the case may be, it just is what it is. But no, I'm not wasting my whole day on no event sitting around for four, five, six hours watching the, the walk down and watching the same battles over and over again. And then we get half the card that'd be good. There was mic issues in mad battles, bro. Like, what are we doing here? I'm listening during Easy versus Hitman, the most important battle, and I hear people talking in my ear. Blue 42, green 38, I hear the chick. Oh, you gotta tell him to cut the blue pattern for to the new system, and she's talking in my ear. <laughs> And we not supposed to say nothing about it? And you're just making it worse when you calling us out because now all the media is going to say something and it's only going to highlight more what went on versus what didn't go on. It is what it is. If we'd have had this situation with a stream cutting out and all of that during one of the earlier battles, probably nobody wouldn't even say nothing. I mean, they probably would have said a little something. You know what I'm saying? They probably would have said a little something. It is what it is. They probably would have said something. ARP, they would have said something. But it's the main event. And they got like, oh, you can just go back and watch it. That's not, do you think the live recap is to go back and watch it? If it was the live recap, why would anybody care about going back and watching the VOD? Please explain that. If it was just about the VOD, then that's what it would be. And I said in my joint, the VOD is together. Everything is good. There's no cutouts. There's no slips. There's no blips. There's nothing in it. That's what I said. I said that myself, you know? I rock with RBE, I love what y'all got going on, but my thing is this, bro, don't cape, you cannot cape. If you wanna say, you know, that hey man, you know, a lot of the bloggers probably jumped out the window pretty early, cool, 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 but when y'all go on like this, 45, I watched a lot of it, but I don't even really be having time, I'm gonna be honest with you, I ain't got time to sit around and watch nobody for an hour. No disrespect, but I just don't have time. Like I'll watch, you know what I'm saying, I seen we did the blog on Compromise Media and you spoke up about the media who can say things and who can't say things and things like that, whoop de whoop. So it was cool when we could speak when you got shit going on or when they're trying to end your events or they're trying to take your artists and we speak on it. But it's not cool when all these people pay $65 for a stream, the most expensive stream in battle rap history, and the shit cuts out in the middle of it. Is we not supposed to say nothing? We not supposed to want our money back? We not supposed to have no outrage? Only because we make money off of YouTube. That shit don't matter. I'm never gonna say what another person does. We could easily be like, man, you a whole league on there and you streaming off of, a, off of a fucking battle rap, off a league channel. You know what I'm saying? You doing crazy views. We could easily say that, but we don't. You know why? Because I respect your hustle. I respect what you do. I love what you do. Rare Breed Entertainment is a pillar in battle rap. It is a pillar in battle rap. But trust and believe me, if y'all got into some shit tomorrow, she's not gonna be on the boat, which it ain't gonna happen. That's the only thing I'm saying. She's not going to be caping for you. When y'all niggas went on, when they went on their tour and was going through uh, different cities and Joe Button podcasts and all these strings, I didn't see them talking about you. I did not see them. I didn't see it. It wasn't riding for you. Just saying. You're still my man. I don't want you to ever think or get one part of this twisted. But ARP, you cannot be out here caping, bro. Like, like we seen. She's married, my nigga. She's, she's. She's your queen to be, a queen to be forever, a queen who do whatever. To be, she's married, bro. Doesn't matter. They not gonna. They not gonna.
gonna save you. If if your shit ever goes down, I hope it don't. I hope you keep on growing, keep on striving, keep on succeeding and doing the things that you do. But when you pulling all of our names in, saying we ignorant, yada yada yada, come on, bro. Like, what, what, what? why? Like for what? Like the battle was still brand new. Did you even recap the battle, my nigga? Like you you talking about us before? The blood, we, I cannot be, I don't want to be more important than him. I don't. I don't want to be more important than him, man. I don't want to be more important than Easy. I don't want to be more important than A-Ward or none of that. Did you recap the, recap the event? I recap the event before I got into some bullshit. I'm going to recap it because that's what I do. I recap more than anybody else. That's the thing. Bar for bar for bar for bar breakdowns and recaps and who does that? So I, I could talk from a level of understanding because I'm the one that does it. Who you think? The artists be hitting me up. Yo, father, man, I just had a battle with so-and-so, man, could you please? They hit me up. I don't hit them up. I don't reach out to no artists. For what? You know why? Because it don't matter. I don't have to. But what we're not going to do is uh, we're not going to act like if this happened. And see, the thing is with you, like, you my man. But if this same shit would have happened on URL and they would have had Easy versus Hitman, and that stream would've went down, and all of us would've been bombing on, you wouldn't have said nothing. You wouldn't have said a fucking word. Tell me I'm lying, and I'm gonna just stop right there. Tell me I'm lying. If this shit would've happened with URL, you wouldn't have said a word about that shit. Not positive, or you wouldn't have said nothing about me saying something about it. I know you wouldn't have, because y'all ops. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't fuck with each other, and I get it. And I know she was at your event, but nigga, so was I, I'm out. I like a raccoon punching them out like the baby they say. He a G and he know for keeping it 100. Dirt on my boots, not my name. He 